and it was i mean honestly i was just really happy about the fact that like i could just sit there mashing buttons on my phone and this poor indian telemarketer named william um he just kept trying to talk to me thinking I was just some old guy. Right. So I, so I just leaned so I just leaned away from the phone. I was in the middle of editing. I just leaned away from the phone. I'm like, "What? What? Beep beep. It's not I can't, I can't get it to work. It's I don't know, Phyllis. I just don't know." The guy he's he stayed on the line like trying to say like, "Hello, I'm here to talk about your credit. Hold on, wait. What? I already have a credit card. What? <laughs> I can help you refinance." Thank you for calling. My name is Billy. No, no, <laughs> no, it's not. It tell shit. me your, tell me your real name, blue shirt kid. I'm trying to like get this. this. How's everybody ah! going? How's it going, yeah. everybody? Welcome to the Saints. How you doing? It's Wednesday, yes. Hump Day. I'm tired. It's my birthday. The original um, intro joke too is actually just going to be a comment I errantly made to Jeff about how Pepe Le Pew. Would be me too to fucking hell and back. Oh my god, absolutely. Well, dude, not only think about um, cross-dressing Bugs Bunny, right? And and Mickey is nothing but blackface. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, black body, white black body. face, yeah. Steamboat Willie. Yeah. So you know, you guys got to give your kids like wholesome cartoons these days, like Invader Zim or uh, Heavy Metal what the children are into by the way have you seen love death and robots yet yes yes and it's amazing it's absolutely I amazing was, i really i didn't know what to expect i was kind of worried like cause everyone's like it's like heavy metal i'm like okay uh let's check it out it's not yeah, though like, it's not no, like it's, heavy metal at all it's, it's cartoon black mirror yeah yeah kind of um I mean, the thing is, too, uh, I used to, to read Heavy Metal Magazine all the time mm. for a long time, years and years and years. I hated the movie. I really legitimately did not like the movie. Uh, so you get to be one of those people who's like, the books were better. Uh, It's not that. It's that I think it gets hyped up a lot. There are certain parts of it that are better than others. You know? Well, it's, uh, it's, it's cult film. So, I mean, yeah. by, de by definition there will be no middle ground on it. Like, there's no one who's going to be like, eh, this, yeah, it's all right. You know? It's either going to be like, oh, my God, I fucking love it, or, like, this was garbage, and why did you do this to me? Mm -hmm. Why did I Why That's did I waste true. this? Why did I waste this two bits on this, on this movie theater ticket? Because, you know, nobody does that anymore. So, hey, right, so, do they yeah. Have, do they have second-run theaters over in Manchester or nearby? Um, uh, no, actually, the second run theater turned into a first run theater, and then installed like those leather recliners with mm. like they like they massage your colon while you watch the new like Ooh. Chris Pratt film kind of thing. Yeah, that's kind of nice. But no, we used to have one. It was way out in the fucking way, like off the highway. And now everyone is like, we they they all want to be IMAX because. By the well, think about this. By the time a movie gets to a second run theater, and a second run theater is usually like a smaller flat screen. It's got like the forty year old fucking chairs in there. There's right. like sticky everything. Why? Why would I you like want to go? I I like it because I grew up with it. But I mean, when you think about it, right? So if you're gonna go see Venom, yeah, mm. why why do that when you can just <clears throat> torrent it and watch it at your oh, house with beer? Yeah. Okay, that's that's yeah. true. That's actually very it. true. Although, like, here's my thing though. I I like the authentic movie experience, and I don't like getting too fucking distracted. So when I go see movies, like I went and saw Captain Marvel, I got the the non IMAX non 3D showing. <laughs> like fuck that. No, I want to actually watch the damn movie, not like have my brain turn off because it's overloaded. It's just like, yeah, you show up at like the second run theater there and you're like, damn, this screen's as flat as Bree's ass. Ooh. Or, well, I could have gone with that or her acting. So, you know, either which way. Wow, this movie's fallen flatter than Ellen Page. Oh, no. So, yep, there's your obligatory sexist Captain Marvel jokes on Twitch, everyone. Mm -hmm. We're keeping, keeping it alive Ooh, here. Nice and fresh. Hey, anybody want to hear my 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 hot take on She-Ra? 
Is that still a thing? Shit. No. Oh, I mean, did you see? Did you see? Jordan Peele won't cast a white lead. Oh my God! I know it's the most, it's the most, it's the most atrocious thing. I, I swear, to God, man, I, I, I can't. I just, I don't, I don't care about any of this shit anymore, man. I just, it's so, it's so boring. Well, not only that, but I mean, like, I love seeing people flip out because, like, honestly, when I saw Jordan Peele announce this, like, I probably, would, I don't think I'd cast the black or uh, a white dude as a lead in my movie because I've seen that movie. I'm like, yes, yeah, okay. yes, yeah. you have. This is exactly what the people who used to bitch about people saying, like, oh, well, aren't there more representation? They're like, well, go make your own movies. And now Jordan Peele is fucking killing it. And so many of those same people just, like, they're like, wait a second. I found a square inch of my britches I have not yet shat. Give me a moment. <laughs> yep. So, yeah. But honestly, well, I mean, like, so, I mean, Get Out was, even after it was spoiled for me, because it was impossible to listen to any reviews like i remember adam was even like so i kind of have to spoil this but there's no point in like going over it otherwise so i kind of have to so skip to this three two one i just watch it and i'm like and then i watch the film i'm like damn this is still this is still taut this is still fun and i and i really actually want to go check out us because i've heard i've heard the it's worst, pretty good i like the worst that. thing yeah the worst i've heard is it was yeah it's pretty good that's like the worst Everyone, yeah, and they're like, they remember even Adam was like, the child performances were okay, and I've come to realize he really, really hates children. He cannot fucking stand children. <laughs> that is absolutely true. Yeah, Adam, Adam from your movie sucks. Fucking just despises child actors. Oh you know, for God. the life, you know, for the life of me though, it's funny because if you'd have told me what five, maybe, actually, wait, how, Keen Peel was like ten years ago, wasn't it? I have no idea. No, oh, I used to what. Yeah, I used to like it. I mean, he really enjoyed that. And it, but if you'd have told me while I was watching an episode of Key and Peele, which a lot of people would hope hoped would be like the spiritual successor to the Chappelle Show, right? Mm -hmm. and, you, and you told me, "Hey, you see that guy there? Yeah, he's gonna be an Oscar-winning horror director." Yeah, huh? twenty twelve to twenty fifteen. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, about yeah, seven years ago. Seven years so, ago. So yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, I, and I love that kind of art because it shows that, like, listen, if he can make it, you can't, but somebody else out there who's got a really strong dream, they can pursue that oh, shit. It's be yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of retarded. Yeah. By the way, if anybody didn't catch it, I, became, I I published my first visual novel today. It's over on the Saints channel. It's that promo that's supposed to tell people that there's a show today. But technically, it was still before the show. Technically, like about five yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah, under the I mean, wire. That, it works. Fuck it. Whatever. It's fine. Well, I mean, I'm about to finish my book, and that was due last September. So I'm improving. You know, it's a gradient arc of deadline uh, that I'm that I'm meeting slowly. It's a step ladder. It's a damn mm. step ladder. Um, let's see. Catch up real quick. Kai Red Thirteen, subscribe. Thank you very much. This is about twenty hours ago, but I want to make sure we set it. Uh, any monster? I was gonna call you Birth Daddy, but that just sounds really fucking weird. So I guess we'll just have to check over your DMs on Discord for a special surprise. Hint: It's a result of an order given to me by my former dom on my thirty-third birthday. Uh, any monster says, "I'm glad you have a sissy Discord settings on the one." Let me say, and Ed for mentioned lewd. I just noticed something about it that I really don't like, and I've deleted it. Oh well, I'll make it up to you. <laughs> this, this is like a whole story in in super chat nope. form. That's um, all right. Donnie says, it's midweek fuckers to start saving to make it to Saints Palooza 2019 in September. Uh, I have a nice clip of Jeff declaring his sexual dominance. Oh, boy. Okay. I will grab that in just a second. Uh, uh -huh. And Chris says, happy birthday, Jeff. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Um, let me make sure. Now, if you guys are wondering why I haven't, like, already, like, wished Jeff a happy birthday on this show, it's because men over the age of 35 understand that it's not something you want to be reminded of. Yeah, I usually, <laughs> I usually really don't like doing anything special for my birthday. Um, I'm kind of making an exception today. Like, I, I'm, I'm actually going to go do something uh, today, which I think will be, will be nice. It'll be something. But... Yeah, <laughs> I, you guys can just see the, how palpable the excitement is. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, am I, am I gonna get a gift card to Cabela's today? I just don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know, man. It's yeah, it's it's pretty much exactly like that. Yeah, 
Well, yeah, I mean, like, as you barrel towards 40, it's one of those things where you start, like, anticipating birthday gifts being, like, ortho orthopedic knee braces and shit. Like, how did you know? Oh, fuck, that's how you know. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. gift, gift. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm just making sure, like, all of this will fit. Yeah, I'm trying to make this all of this fit really well, but I'm, I'm having some issues with it. Uh, Was it... Oh Christ! Sorry, I just like I just like had. You ever have like a scene from a movie snap in your mind, but you can't tell what it was from? Mm. I think I I think it was from the John Travolta movie Michael, starring William Hurt and um. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah. So the I, I don't remember saying this, but people have told me that I the uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Are Addie we getting likes to meta? Me a with... lot, but Addy doesn't. Here, know. I'll, I'll I'll tell you like, what it add, says. In just... Add more Jeffs. Add I, more Jeffs. I, I I'll tell you what it says because I can't play the sound across that for you. But Addy likes to flirt with me a lot, but Addy doesn't know what she's getting into. I will... Addy Addy likes to flirt with me a lot, but Addy doesn't know what she's I will getting into. Destroy that trap. I will Shit. fucking destroy that trap. We'll be able to walk for a week. We'll be able to walk for a week. Shit. Okay. Now I do kind of remember that. Kind of. Addy sort likes of... to flirt with me a lot. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, I said that's 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 uh, exhibit A, as they will call it in court. That's right. Yeah. Uh, if anybody's wondering why I'm like goofing off and putting myself into the why why we're doing the He's... the Pee Wee Playhouse set today, uh, I quit smoking Saturday oh. night. Uh, Saturday my Saturday night I I you know had my last cigarette and I was and I I was like fuck it I'm just I'm just done, and my secret to quitting smoking is I never tell anybody until I'm already past all the crazy cravings. Like, I still have cravings. I'm still, like, eh, I'm kind of out of it. Um, but I'm not, like, freaking out like I was the past three days. Um, but I am still kind of... I'm kind of brain fucky right now. So oh, I need to do funny. this to make me seem interesting because I'm not going to be exceptionally witty right now. And also, like, the genie from Pee-wee's Playhouse, like, you, know, you had to be on acid to really get where he was going with shit. So, yeah, Jeff, yeah Jeff's just trying to keep it 100 for y'all, you know? Yeah. Yeah. What? Wait, Word. what? What? Huh? <laughs> Fucking shit. Um, I just love how, like, I love how on our weekend shows, like, I could show up in, like, a, like a waistcoat and a button down and we got our nice set. And it's like, today I'm half expecting Voyager again and we end up in Pee Wee's Playhouse. I'm like, all right, well, fuck it. I'll take my hair down and my Jack Daniel style YouTube Saints shirt note is still available on the Teespring store, by the way. And I'm going to drink most of some PBR, just like Paul Herman does while he watches old DVDs of his show. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, yeah, I don't know, so I just, I'm just, like, I'm in the kind of just comfy mood, you know, I'm comfy, down tempo, Mems wants to do some sort of fucking rage thing for my birthday, and I'm like, ah, I want to go to my favorite diner and have food, that's, that's, that's what I want to do for my birthday. That's not bad. Yeah, that's all I want to yeah. do, I don't want to do that's... anything else. That's how, I mean, it's the, I mean, shit, when I turned 35 last year, so Anna Hot of Hearts came up, she was hanging for it, and my buddy Gabe comes over, and everyone's all talking for, like, days, maybe even weeks about, oh, I turned 35, we're gonna have a rager, we're all gonna go out, we'll get some drinks, this and that, right? And then instead, it's like, they show up, and then, like, Gabe ends up drinking half of a 12-pack of, uh, like, Sierra Nevada IPAs and nearly passing out on my little table in the kitchen. Nice. It, Anna takes a nap on the couch, and meanwhile, I've got nothing to do, so I'm like, well, I guess I'll just cook for them, <laughs> to sober them up. I'm like, that's how I spend my birthday, is cooking for my friends, because we're all fucking old now, and I hadn't started watching Hannibal to make it more fun. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. You get old, and, and like, birthdays just... They don't really mean that much, man. They really don't. Unless you're... John McAfee, in which case you can pretty much do whatever the fuck you want at all times and probably have amazing birthdays. Yeah. Or if you're like certain YouTubers who keep encountering like terrible health problems and every birthday is a blessing. Hmm. <laughs> I was going to go, well, I was going oh, who was I going to go with on that one? I was going to go with like Patrick Swayze or something, but that's a little dated at this point. I was just like, I was like, who died recently that was surprising but not surprising? Ah, oh, well, fuck it. Who cares? 
<laughs> okay, I'm trying to like I've been I've been trying to like make it through um Vermin Supreme's new book. But it, it's it's pretty fucking intense, man. Like, you, were you Kong expecting switching... something else? I don't know. But it's great. No, it's fucking awesome. It's just like King Kong is awesome smushing zombies and like all sorts of crazy I'm shit, dude. Retarded. Keep in mind, dude. My publisher. I'll actually. I'll I'll, I'll have him send you a copy. Uh, but Christoph Paul, who's like good buddies with Low Res, he runs Clash Books. Yeah, yeah. One of his books that he released was called Great White House, and that was about the Chinese. If I if I I gotta like make sure I, I gotta try and get this right. So the Chinese engineer these cybernetic super sharks, and then use weather manipulation to flood like DC, and they send all of these cyber great white sharks into dc to kill and eat congress and everyone and there's <laughs> yeah and there's there's a part in the book that i think it's like the, the climax of the book but john boehner barack obama and nancy pelosi have this like raunchy threesome on the resolute desk as the oval office fills with water and these cybernetic great white sharks are <laughs> circling wow so it's, yeah it's called it's called Great White House. They've come out with they have a sequel now. I don't know. I think it's only one, but that, that there might be only one sequel. So there's also Great White House 2 that's out now. This is in amazing. Fine, in fine bookstores everywhere. This is the same people who published Vernaculus, mind you. Oh, I got so, that book too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I doubt I don't know if there's many like Resolute Desk threesomes in Vernaculus book. I haven't read it because I'm not going to pay for it. But <laughs> I haven't read it. Uh Mem's read it. But I haven't read it. No. Oh, yeah, no, I've, I've heard it's fantastic. I literally won't pay for it, though, because Justin lives 45 minutes away and has a stack of them in his living room. We should buy one off of him, make him sign it. Look, I got him the book deal. He, oh, yeah. He should, owe right. me 10, he should owe me 10% of his pre sales at this point. Fuck that. You should, uh, you should get him to mushroom stamp it. <laughs> oh, God. Instead that... of just, like, sign it, you know? Just get, like, a that... little bit of paint, and then he just smushes. A, a, a mushroom stamp, a dick print. And then just yeah, just slap it real quick. You know the <laughs> the best thing about that too is like if I if you or I did something like that, people would be like, oh, well, of course that's how they sign the book. But if I could get vernaculus, I'm like, hey everybody, come on, saying sometime. By the way, I know you're all so curious. That's how big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is well, a good you got it. Well, you got a birthday schedule to keep up on. Um, are we all caught up on things? Because we got some weird fucking news tonight. Um, I'm kind of thinking that we... Oh, no, not yet. Uh, Addy also said, when I turned 35 last year, all I got was a reminder that I only had five years left until turn 40. For now. Did I say 35? I meant 19. Yeah, totally. 19. <laughs> I'm 19. <laughs> Addy, if anything, you were the inspiration for the sprite in the visual novel promo that I'm sure almost no one has seen yet. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, for sure. I, I turning 30, 37 awesome is kind of weird. It's a little strange. Um, <laughs> was well, is, is, is it like I've always? I mean, because I remember what like I think it was like, yeah, I think it was when I turned thirty two. But my mind was just like, this is the most useless age and birthday ever. It, it signifies nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. I mean, like, at 30, it's a pretty important one. And then at 31 and 32, you're like, what the fuck is the point? But then you well, get to th 35, and you're like, woohoo, halfway to 70. Yeah. Well, I didn't go there. My thinking was more just like, so yeah, you get to 30, and it's like, hey, the big 3 0. And you get into 31, and you're like, okay, I am now officially in my 30s. And it's like, then 32, it's like, all right. Uh, it's getting old now. Oh, wait. <laughs> I, I, oh, look, dude, I just made a pun. <laughs> and and that's how you that's how you slide into into old man making pun jokes. I mean, right? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta you gotta like find your own groove to settle in with it for sure. Um, it's like I it's like I told NASA during their spacewalk live stream last week because I apparently have a new habit of just going into NASA spacewalk live streams and just claiming that because I can't see the moon in a given shot that space isn't real or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Yeah, we've been having, been having a lot of fun with that. And I show up though, and like one of the first things I, I forget how it came up. I made some pun joke, and then I, and then everyone, a couple of people were like that was just bad. And I'm like, in space, puns are literal wastes of oxygen. That's good. That's good, actually. <laughs> That's really good. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's so turning thirty seven is just kind of like a pointless one, but. Um, I I I just used it as a as a impulse to do the quitting smoking thing and like here's the thing too this is the other thing that I wanted to make a mention of huh I'm sorry it's just like oh 37 felt kind of a useless birthday so I decided so a little self improvement I'd quit smoking and 39 will be where you get the like the trophy side piece and the yeah. sports car. All right, welcome everyone to the uh, midlife crisis saints. Oh, dude, no, I'm already, I'm already like busting ass in the fucking gym trying to look good and fuckable again. Oh, it's awful. No, it's the worst. Um, but no, like, see, here's the thing though that I think a lot of people don't know. There's a secret to quitting smoking. There really is. There is 100% a secret. <clears throat> the secret is, it is very easy to do. It is extremely easy to quit smoking. It is. It, it it literally is just doing less than you were doing before. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> it is, isn't it? That's <laughs> no, I like it. I like it. It's it's. I mean, that's like you know, that's sort of sort of like the best thing about tomorrow is it will happen. Yeah, I, I can't argue <laughs> with that. <laughs> yeah, no, I I'm I'm just saying like it is it is literally you just doing less. Less things than you did before. Um, yes, it's miserable. And yes, it sucks. And it, it's awful. It's a horrible feeling to have to go through. Um, but, like, it, it really isn't difficult to do it. It's It just sucks. It just sucks. Have you got, have you got any weird dreams? Oh, yeah. dude. I, I could not sleep for the first... Uh, the first the first night after I, I went a whole day, I couldn't sleep at all, and now I've been having nothing but, like, bizarre, twisted fucking dreams. It's yeah, well, that, that, that's the thing. Yeah, the, well, the nicotine levels, uh, like, on their own shit. Like, I remember when I went on the, uh, I went on the, I tried the patch for a while. Yeah. Uh, no, no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope, did not work. I mean, it works for some people. It didn't work for me, but I remember like the first, uh, the first few nights that I like, I'd go to sleep with it on. Those are like, I want to say those are like the first dreams I ever had that were in color, because my entire life they've always been black and white. And then these like, I'm like, oh, like why am I like, why am I drowning in a Technicolor nightmare? What the fuck? Yeah. To wake up, be like, oh, I could really use breakfast. <sighs> No, it's gnarly. Yeah, it's fucking weird, man. I I had um, I had like this weird dream where frogs were somehow getting into the house, and for some reason I was squishing them. You They're just like needed little, to let like little did, frogs, did... and I, I wouldn't catch them. I was just squishing them because I was tired of having to try and pick them up, and just like fuck you, no. Eventually you run out of frogs. Fucking hell, and no. <laughs> you run out of frogs. Yeah. yeah, see well see the trick was is you just had to let all of your Jews go. That was the thing. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. No, oh, they're mine. A little biblical humor for you there, I've Pharaoh. Fucking paid a lot of money for those Jews. You've gotta have a Pharaoh at. I don't yet. I don't. Fuck. I need one. That's amazing. Shit. <clears throat> I mean, that would make yeah. that would make that Jew joke land. Okay. Well, all right, Amazon. almost the same. <laughs> I'm Pharaoh retired. hat. Yeah, you guys, that hemlock, those hemlock videos are gonna get strange, y'all. Oh my god, these are fucking hideous! Holy shit! Wow. Get, just get one with Anubis on it. <laughs> these are so bad. Hello, what Star Children. <laughs> you might, you like my hat? Gee, thanks. I just bought it. Holy fuck. <laughs> these are the ugliest fucking things I've ever seen in my life. Hang on, fuck. You gotta see these. These are just absolutely fucking terrible. Wow. Uh, here. Yeah. Like, what the oh, fuck? Oh, fuck, yeah. That's the best Photoshop job i ever seen. What the fuck is going on with that kid there? I don't know, dude. I don't know. That's, that's racist. I don't know. That. Well, the, hang on. That one right there on the left looks pretty <clears throat> nice. This one? 
the, the one closest to me? Looks like a motorcycle helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Weird. Listen, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's like, you know, listen, there is a big uh, <laughs> Stargate cosplay market out there. So. I just realized my camera is, like, completely reversed. There we go. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. I'm kind of retarded. Yeah, so you guys go ahead and you go ahead and, and, and smash Imhotep in the chat. If you think Jeff needs to get one of these fine headpieces, yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty sold that I need to get one of these. This is this is pretty this is pretty intense. I need one. <laughs> I kind of want to oh. get I kind of want to get one like. I'm gonna be honest with you. That stands I'm, up, you know, kind of like uh, like I'd be able to just like fucking. Oh, like one of them. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. If you're going to get yourself one of those costumes, you know you need to get Mems like a whole Nefertiti getup. Mm. And now your mind's going in a completely different direction, isn't it? Yeah. This this <laughs> costume, is shockingly, I, I bet you can't even guess that this costume is only $24. <laughs> it's like, what you can't tell from the picture is the shirt and, uh, and skirt to it are actually made of the same material... As your shower curtain. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I'm fucking buying this. I swear to God. This is what left in stock. Well, Bye. just remember, like, buy it on a separate screen because you don't need everybody getting your in Amazon in, folks. Ooh. Fuck knows what will be put on your wish list then. Mm. Wow. Oh, yeah. You know what? Actually, QBook is saying uh, you should review it. No, QBook, that's not how it works. We don't review products that we own on this show. So no. I will review Jeff's costume correct. before he gets it. That's that's correct. <laughs> yeah. and I, I will review various creams that you tell me to review. I'm going to also be – I'm looking forward to my book showing up on Amazon. That way I can, um, I can review it before I, I even <coughs> get it. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh. So, uh, this we we might have to deal with this at at, at another point. But Anime Moon said, after drowning stuff in Molyneux and trap porn, how about a complete change of pace? Some of the neat little flair that you wouldn't expect from my crazy ass. There's a lot of white here too. He sent us a link, but my circle is fucked. Okay, yeah, but moreover, actually, Anime Moon, because shortly after, I absolutely did not encourage, in fact, I actively discouraged everyone from tweeting trap porn at Stefan Molyneux, because that would just be mean and hilarious. I got suspended for 12 hours from YouTube, but not for that. So <laughs> I yeah. couldn't follow up and see if anybody had did it. Hopefully nobody did, and I would absolutely, I would, again, I must insist... You. Do not find I'm kind of retarded. trap porn, especially anime trap porn, and do not tweet that shit at Stefan Molyneux. He doesn't know what the difference between a nut sack and a big uh, pussy look like from behind anime vinyl. He'll get it whole. He'll get a. He'll get a little chubby, and then he'll find out what it is. Oh. So if you're like, yeah. well, it's, it's clearly time to defoo myself. <laughs> Oh Jesus, um, but yeah, anime or uh, anime moon and and Larry because Larry also just tossed us another video as well, saying Alex Jones is right for once. Them frogs are gay. Uh, MyCircle.tv is broken currently, oh. uh, so we can't actually share videos right now. Cuba, maybe it'll get fixed by the end of the show. Cuba says finally giving money to the Saints. Keep doing what you've been doing, boys. Also, happy birthday. Well, thank you. Uh, Donnie says, so I finally got a call today asking about all these $1 charges on my card. I just explained that they aren't false charges, but didn't elaborate any further. <laughs> if there are any serious topics today, I'm going to shoot you a stupid song like last week. Eh. If, they, if, they, if they try that again, Donnie, what you need to do is you need to explain that you found yourself a, uh, you, you finally met a stripper with a chip reader built in. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Cybernetics are amazing. Addy Monster says, Jeff, buy a damn Egypt man hat and do a Yada parody. Lol. I should. I should. And it's Raisu. Resubscribe with Prime. Eight months so far. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Let's do some news. Yeah. These are fun. <laughs> this, is, this is actually a, a, an incredibly good, good article. I love this. 
Uh, source of Garfield phones on French beaches found after 30 years. Um, <laughs> Five years of Garfield phones washing up on the beach in your town. Like, where are these phones coming from? And why are they all Garfield phones? Where is the Audi phone, huh? <laughs> what is with the Garfield March 29th UPI and environmental group in France has solved the three-decade-long mystery of plastic Garfield telephones washing up on northwestern beaches. The group, our Vilton Sau, said plastic phones in the likeness of the orange and black comic strip cat have been washing up on the beaches in northwestern France since the mid-1980s, but until recently, investigators can only speculate as to their origins. Jesus Christ, they are fucking everywhere, aren't they? You know what would be great, though, is if it turned out that they're wrong and they're actually just badly done knockoff Heathcliff phones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can see what the phone looks like here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I want one now. I know, dude. I want one, too. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Why do, why do the French get all of our best be shit, awesome, huh? I know. Give us back our fucking <laughs> telephones, you pricks. Yeah, I'm anyway. sure you've been collecting them. Ship them back. <laughs> President Claire Simonin Lamure said farmer Rene Morvan pointed her toward a rocky cave where she said he and his brother had found a shippy container they believed to be the source of the cartoon phones decades earlier. Simone and Lemur <laughs> led an expedition into the cave once the tide was low enough, and the group discovered the shipping container wedged inside the cave was surrounded by several intact Garfield phones as well as some broken pieces. I, I, you know what I want? I, I want? I would just I want to see like some like really shitty video of uh, Rene Morvan and uh, what is it? Uh, and, and his uh, what sister there or whoever. Mm -hmm. They just show up and they're like, also, oh, these are where the Garfield phones have been coming from. How about that? Should we tell anyone? No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Our preoccupation was to understand why we had so many Garfields everywhere. We thought that it would be helpful to find the containers so we could stop it. That was unfortunately not the case. What we found was the remainder of the shipping container, and it was empty. Uh, they said it's still investigating the origins of the shipping container and attempt to identify who ul who is ultimately <laughs> responsible for the pollution. I just love that too. Like that's the sort of thing. Like so, you run a shipping company, right? It's like, sir. Well, uh, during the storm, one of the containers was knocked off the boat. Um, should we contact the company? Go right. Go ahead. Uh, your container fell off. Which one? Oh, that one. No, no. Don't worry about it. Don't. We had nothing to do with the Garfield phones, huh? All right, now I gotta look this up. <laughs> what are you gonna see if you can buy a Garfield phone? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What? Oh my god. Oh no 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 no! Hang on. Here's the thing, though. What you gotta do is you gotta drop the link to that in the chat. That way you can find one of those in your PO box as a birthday present. Mm. Who wants to buy Jeff Garfield phone? <laughs> There's got to be a way, uh, like a. I bet somebody's made a device where you can like plug in a, a wired telephone yes. like that, and it Bluetooths yep. to a cell phone. Oh no! Even uh, well, I don't. I'm sure. I'm sure that's out there. But what I've seen though is that they have like I've seen some people have built like like L, like load bearing vest kind of belt things, right? Where mm. you can just mount like a rotary phone to it, and it'll just hang there, <laughs> and then you can. And you can plug that into your cell phone. So you, to get a call, you're like, oh, ho hold on, hold on, wait. Hello? <laughs> yeah, just walk around with the Garfield phone all, like on your belt, like a tactical belt. That would be fucking great, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You just yeah, you just run it off like a you know, just run it off a power inverter that you have in a backpack. Basically, you're gonna look like a Ghostbuster just for a Garfield phone, but it's gonna be worth. <laughs> it's gonna be worth it, man. <laughs> People are gonna be like, "What the fuck? That's the coolest thing I've ever seen." But why? why Where'd not? you get it? I made it. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> If anybody in the chat does actually find a device where you can interface an old phone like that with a cell phone, let me know because I am very interested. Oh, actually, very. the best would be to do that to do that like you know that special forces operator thing. You just mount the phone to like the strap of your backpack. That way you can just be like, hello, yes, Shh, wait, 
talking to my Garfield phone. <laughs> you can refinance my credit card. Beep, beep, beep. beep. <laughs> Not working, babe. <laughs> I'm kind of, I kind of wonder if, if they, I wonder if they got one of these. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hamburger phone. You can be like Juno. When when you inevitably, like we all do, stop going to the gym but keep paying for the membership. <laughs> <laughs> if things start growing, you can be like, wow, I really do feel like Juno. Wow. Yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, that's two jokes. That's two jokes at, at her in one night. I'm on a roll here. <laughs> Hello? Yes, this is Hamburger. Hello, uh, this is Garfield. I was <laughs> just kidding. Garfield's not French. This is Heathcliff. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I gotta find a way to make a to make a an old school phone fucking work oh, with a cell phone. Oh, you, you know, you know who we the, actually no jokes. I I bet you they could do it. Um, we should Tommy tap Oscar. uh 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 Oscar. Who? Oscar Young Girl. Oh, Oscar Young Girl. No, I'm I, I'm just I'm sure there's. I'm sure that there is. There's got to be a device. Uh, device to plug, uh, old phone into cell phone. Oh, I'm sure there is. I just really wanted to see that video. Okay, so today we're going to be doing the thing for Jeff Holiday. He wants to talk on a cellular. Garfield phone. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We will make the Garfield phone mobile. Oh, there is. To make. <laughs> oh my God! There totally is. Oh wow. Uh, it needs a five volt power source though. So. <laughs> You're gonna end up like Matt Damon in The Martian figuring this out. Yeah, dude. <laughs> It's just gonna be like it's gonna, you're gonna actually find a way to plug like you're gonna find a way to like port it into your like XLR port and just make a video like hello. See, That's hang right. on, hang on. Here's what we're, here's what here's 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 how it's gonna work, right? So, <laughs> Eddie Monster says use an old Soviet flashlight or some shit. Oh yeah yeah yeah, dude, I could totally do that. All right, so this is this is how I'm gonna do this. I've I've got this all figured out. All right. <clears throat> This is important. All right. So you get the cell two jack, right? And, <clears throat> right? So the cell two jack, you plug in your Garfield phone, this thing, <laughs> right? Into the cell mm -hmm. two jack. The cell two jack also has a five volt AC adapter, which is going to have to get plugged into a power bank, right? I'm thinking like. Thirty thousand mile or some shit like that. You don't want it. You don't want your phone running out of juice. But then the cell two jack is also awesome because it will also charge your cell phone, which you don't even need to touch anymore. <laughs> because now your cell phone is a Garfield phone. Whoa, 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 wow! Yeah, I mean, dude, fucking like this. This is just this is this is this is tits. This is the this Actually, is the tits. Actually, well, this is what you need to do. Is you need to set. You need to get two of these setups that way, so you can. Walk Walk around, have your Garfield phone, and then if you need to call Mems, she can answer you on a hamburger phone. Right, 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 right. And everyone, right. everyone in Eugene, everyone in Eugene will just be constantly reminded that oh yeah, those two are married, Garfield and Hamburger. It's like why didn't he get a lasagna phone for her? Oh, taco and burger. I wonder if there's a taco phone. I'm sure there is. I hope it opens up like this. Taco phone. <laughs> Caffeine tweaker. This is the future. Yes, it is. Yeah, 35 dude. year old, thirty-five year old Garfield phones on five G network is the future. I can't. <laughs> find, I haven't found a taco phone. If anybody finds a taco phone, you let me know. All right. Actually, better yet, if anybody can actually just send Dieter Lukum any old ass phone, and then he can three D print the mount to make it into a taco phone. Mm, oh well, you know what? I'm I'm betting you because of how much. I'll be honest with you. How much space <laughs> Garfield phone is I always it. inside these? I know, I know. Like it, it doesn't really require a lot of of tech for these old phones. I bet I could probably mount this cell two jack and a small power bank inside that phone, and then, 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 
I could I can mount straps right on the bottom <laughs> here, right? You loop it on your belt, yeah, and just right on my belt. I won't even need a tasteful fanny pack uh, to hold it. <laughs> I'm like so tempted right now to just get a video of myself going down to Taco Bell, but I'm like, Jeff, I found the way to do the taco phone with a chalupa. Right? Yes. Although, hang on. Now that I'm thinking about it, hang on. There's a bit of a problem. I can't. I'm going to have to figure out how to mount it that it will actually, like, catch. Oh no! The, because... No, no here's, here's the great thing. No, no. no. If you're gonna if you're gonna go this way, just go stupid low tech, right? And Magnets. just put. Oh, I was I was actually just gonna say a, a, like a Velcro strap. That way, when it comes time to answer the ringing oh, yeah, Garfield so phone hanging you on your like, hip, ring. <laughs> hold yes. on. Okay. 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 <laughs> yes, honey. <laughs> Are you talking to me on the taco phone? <laughs> Blackfire Dragon says, just put your cell phone where the keypad is on the handset. That is so cheating. That yeah. So the, cheating. The, the, absolutely not. The idea is to be able to enjoy the mechanical buttons that you push on Garfield's uh, Tummy. Viv- no, vivisected no. corpse. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. So on the, on the underside of his spine are a series of very happy buttons to press. You know what I really wonder with that with like the this this cell two what, 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 cell two jack? Mm-hmm. Uh I'm wondering if you can text. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so fucking funny if like you, you you could use the fucking touch buttons to text? Oh my god. I I think it could be doable because all you'd need to do, I mean like the way they used to work is, you know, you used to be able to actually sort of like semi-hack pay phones like the early ass pay phones if you had the recording oh, or yeah, some yeah, way yeah, yeah. to mimic yeah. those sounds but i was just thinking how much fun it would be if you couldn't do it but you kept trying so while you were talking to a person like hold on let me text you the directions beep 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 just, just <laughs> him, wait no hang on i got this i can text from my garfield phone beep 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 that's the future <laughs> That's the low tech future millennials want and deserve. <laughs> this is such a great fucking idea. And you know I'm what's... so happy we started with this story. It's such a great story because <laughs> the next one's even better. And, and the thing is, too, I never answer my phone. I literally never answer my phone. I refuse to answer my phone. I won't do it. <laughs> it's I... just because I gave your phone number out on Reddit that one time. Yeah. Well, there's that, but also, like, I just I don't want to ever have a, a conversation with somebody over the phone. What? I don't. I just well, I love that because I keep hearing that more and more. I think I was like I was watching some like old John Oliver clip the other day or some shit where he was saying he's like, in what was a two minute phone conversation, which is hard to fucking believe because that's a long conversation for anyone. And I'm realizing like, yeah, we don't. Nobody talks on the phone. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's yeah. over. That's it's canceled. Uh uh-uh. uh. Talking on the phone yeah. is out. Yeah, now you now you, now you now you text your true intentions uh yeah. with emojis. People actually get really mad at me. They get really mad at me cuz they're like uh, they call me and I won't answer and then I'll text them I'm like, "What?" And they're like, "Try to call me again." I'm like, "I don't answer. I'll hit fucking no." And I'm like, "What? What the fuck text? What the fuck do you want?" <laughs> you know you know you should do. I want to talk to you. No. What you should what you need to do is cuz isn't there like isn't there a code like something you can punch so you can get straight to voicemail instead of a ringing? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you know, here's what you do instead of texting them back, call them back. Do that. <laughs> go straight to voicemail, leave them a voicemail. <laughs> Be like so, I just so... I just find this easier. <laughs> <laughs> so they have to log into their fucking voicemail. <laughs> And then when they call you back, send it straight to voicemail. <laughs> this is a fucking great idea. Is there Apparently, a- there's some kind of explosions going on outside, and for some reason, like, there are little bits of floxum falling down out of my tile ceiling now. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, let's bring let's bring back let's bring back the art of voicemail, guys. Basically, it can be like verbal letters that you send to each other using an otherwise perfectly capable telecommunications device. Right, right, right. Yeah, I. Uh, hmm. Yeah, no, I just, I just, I don't know what it is, man. I cannot. No, I don't talk on the phone. I don't, I don't. Do it. <laughs> and people get really mad, and I don't care. They can, they can just fuck off. Anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, this next one came out to us on April Fool's Day, but it wasn't a joke. No. Uh, uh, Alessandra Mussolini. And if that name sounds familiar to you, it should be. Yeah, <laughs> she, was, uh, she was in a punk band. Yeah, she was, she was, she was, uh, she was the original drummer of the Sex Pistols, um, but then uh, they just decided to go with uh, Keith Jarrett. I don't fucking know. Um, but, uh, yeah, the actor, <laughs> so yeah, Alessandra Mussolini, granddaughter of, uh, Benito Mussolini, uh, Reza a fist's favorite fascist, he, uh, well, she's gotten into a little bit of a spout with Jim Carrey, of all, I want to repeat that, the granddaughter of, of Mussolini, <laughs> who featured here, you gotta get her a Karen haircut, mm. um, asked to speak to Jim Carrey's manager over Twitter, <laughs> the Karen, actress. Karen Mussolini. Yeah. Karen, Mus- Karen Mussolini. I wanted to speak to the manager. Um, yep. So, uh, yeah, she was upset. Italian politician. She's a politician. Isn't that great? That'd be like finding out that, like, Hitler's great grandniece is, like, two steps below Angela Merkel. Uh, Italian politician <laughs> Alessandra Mussolini has publicly insulted Jim Carrey after he tweeted a drawing of hanging her grandfather Benito Mussolini and. Clareta Petit, Pet, Pit, Pitachi, 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 yeah. Pitachi. The Canadian American actor expressed his views on fascism by sharing the sketch with words. If you're wondering what fascism leads to, just ask Benito Mussolini and his mistress Clareta. The drawing, created by Carrie himself, so he can avoid having to do uh, <laughs> Kick Ass Three, <laughs> shows the. <laughs> Executed Italian dictator and mistress hanging upside down. Ben Garrison, eat a dick. Has nothing to do with the article. I just felt like saying that. Mm -hmm. Um, It gained some traction on social media and warranted an angry response from Misa Mussolini himself. By the way, fellas, she's single. (laughs) You are a bitch. (laughs) Or bastard? I think it was a bad. I think it was bastard. Yeah, it could be bastard. I'm going to try and find it. Keep reading. Yeah, he's going to try to find the, the translation from asterisks. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> oh, she's a former actress. Damn, yeah. Her comments sparked the debate on the platform of political communication specialist Evan O'Connell. No who fucking idea who that is. Telling her, I think you're confusing Jim Carrey with your murderous grandfather. <laughs> Another user said, nothing hurts like the truth. God damn, Jim Carrey's got lines in his face. Mm-hmm. Mussolini, who established a dictatorship in Italy in 1925 to the cheer of many Discord servers, was put in charge of a puppet regime in northern Italy by Adolf Hitler in 1943 before his execution. Poorly written sentence, because I can't tell who you're saying was executed. He and Pitacci Pitacci were captured by Italian communist partisans and were killed by a firing squad on 28 April 1945 after attempting to flee to Switzerland. Their bodies were taken to Milan, where they were hung upside down at a service station. Carrie, who did not respond to the yeah. MEPs. Oh, she's a fucking member of the European Parliament, so you kept. You guys have got some work to do. <laughs> you have the granddaughter of one of the most notorious fascists already in the European Parliament, and you think you're going to make a splash, huh? <laughs> With some YouTuber? I don't have things so. Oh, right. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, yeah, Carrie, who did not respond, has been sharing his political cartoons drawings since August 2017. They have included controversial pictures of Donald Trump, more Donald Trump, the White House Press Secretary Huckabee Sanders, Donald Trump, Rudy Giuliani, Donald Trump, and Donald Trump. Mm. His show, titled Indignation, clever, I like that name. Opened at Macaron Gallery in Los Angeles on 23rd October last year. It features 108 pen and ink drawings from his Twitter feed. Fuck me. Maybe Paul Joseph Watson was right about modern art. Shit. <laughs> in 2015, 
Kerry called California Governor Jerry Brown a corporate fascist who was poisoning children by enacting the vaccination requirements after the signing of <laughs> What? Hang on. <laughs> Kerry called California Governor Jerry Brown a corporate fascist who was poisoning children by enacting the vaccine requirements after the signing of a new vaccination law. Fucking Jesus. I mean, I knew I knew that he he was a fucking idiot when it came to vaccines. I mean, he was with uh um what's her fucking face? Kat Von D. Uh, no, that, that was that Jenny was, McCarthy. Jenny McCarthy. Jenny McCarthy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. She uh oh no, yeah, it was a bastard. You were a mon you were a bastard, Jim Carrey. Italians hate you. So it's a bastardo. A Jim McCarrey. Get a, get rid of the, the vaccine autism you got, huh? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No. <laughs> I didn't know fucking... I didn't know Jim Carrey was an anti-vaxxer. Move over, Rob Schneider. There's a new has-been in town. <laughs> uh, wow, dude. Alessandra Mussolini is a fucking crazy person. What the fuck? What do you got? Ah, it's just, like... She was just going off on people after that whole shit. You know, people who were like, yeah, my 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 family had to, like, flee because of your, your grandfather. And she's like, fuck you and your family, you garbage, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Oh, the, whoa. <laughs> the fact your family got away from me, grandpappy, just tells me there is no justice in the world. We need to find your children and round them up and put them to work in mines. I don't know why all of a sudden she turned Ukrainian, but... uh, I don't know. I bet she sucks a mean dick, though. Oh, I bet she does, too. It's a big old, big old fucking dick sucker lips. The DSL. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, enemy mooses. Yeah, it looks like a DDoS attack on the My Circle. Give it half an hour and check again. Yeah, we'll try. Andy Monster says, remember when people were smashing windows to steal Garfield window plushies? That happened <laughs> to my mom's blazer in 91. The police told her there were so many similar points that they couldn't prove what doll belonged to who, so they wouldn't bother. I bet Jesus. they were French. That's what I mean. Here's a here's another big question. Why were thirty five years worth of Garfield phones being sent to France in the first place? <laughs> I don't know. It's like do the French just hate Mondays and love lasagna? Uh, I get. Yeah, maybe. Uh, wait, wait a second. How old is Marzia? Marzia? They could have all been for her. Why would why would Felix buy Marzia so many? Uh... No, 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 no. It's just because she comes from like the the the, the Italian aristocracy, as we all know. Uh, you gotta get with it. Come on. Uh, yeah, she's twenty six years old. They were. Oh my God! They were planning on having a baby and said, "We need to get our baby a whole bunch of Garfield songs." That's <laughs> just so sweet. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know a lot of real Italians, so I got to kind of work what I got. I didn't even know she was Italian. So <laughs> Between the pasta jokes and all of this, like this didn't tip you off? Like, Marcia only, uh, only understands this. <laughs> I, I, I just, it went right over my head, I guess. That's weird. <laughs> um, Chichirk has resubscribed 13 months so far. Thank you. Donnie says, I'll change it up with $2 donations. I was definitely not going uh, on your suggestion, but do you think Steven would enjoy Parade Parade for the story, of course? Which Steven? Oh, Stefan. Stefan. Stefan, Stefan Mol Mol Moldy Nuts. Uh, parade Parade, I yes. Good, good choice. Parade Parade is a very good choice. As long as it listen, as long as it has what could look like attractive and potentially underage girls who are happen to be flapping some wedding tackle, you should absolutely not send that to Stefan Molyneux. Hmm. He's a good traditionalist, and like the thing is, is if he's gonna suck a lady boy's dick, he's gonna do what every other Canadian does and go to fucking Thailand. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So That's why don't you just defoo that shit, huh? Get what this next oh, uh, no, I remember. <laughs> wait, what? No, the uh, next news item. The next news item. It's oh, a fun oh, little oh, one. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, what, uh, real quick, real quick. Um, Cynic258, resubscribe 11 months so far. I got the chemo belly. Thanks to the distraction. You are very welcome. My lady cleric donated. Thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. Very generous. Addy Monster says, this all reminds me of my time of the time my buddy JT dismantled an IBM ThinkPad and built it into an armored briefcase for no reason other than to say he could. 
It was 2001, <laughs> and it made the computer objectively worse. <laughs> I've had I had a 2001 era IBM ThinkPad. I remember. Oh boy, yeah, wow. But what okay. You, but what you don't know is that was the birth of the tough book. Uh, <laughs> I had a I had this really cool um, Pelican style crate um, that was really really sturdy, and I it was it was about like uh, you can't really see, but I mean it was like you know three feet by two feet and like maybe a foot deep. Um, and I painted it all, painted it, 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 all yellow and black. I called it my danger crate. I carried everything in that fucking thing. <laughs> everything. Everything I would danger need. Danger crate. Yeah, danger crate. I had all sorts of crazy shit in there, too. Weapons, snacks, uh, books. Um, and, and I had my IBM ThinkPad at one point inside my danger crate. I thought I was so fucking hackers. Like, holy actually, shit. Fuck, now it actually reminds me of my first like my first computer of my own was it was like a 97 thing that i want to say oh wow and that that had the track then not oh not yeah a touchpad, the little nub. An actual oh yours had a nub a little nub oh, in the I, was thinking it, the keyboard. I, I was thinking it had like a full-on full-blown oh, like, like track ball, ball. yeah no, like an actual... no no <laughs> no, but no, it, it had it had the little like rubber nub in the middle, and so like yeah. you'd want to move the mouse, so you'd be like, nope, oh fuck, oh, god damn it, yeah. <sighs> it's 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 good good practice though for when you start dating girls. Tell you what, I owned a night. I just told you I owned a 1997 IBM ThinkPad, and you think I'm dating? You think I was dating girls? <laughs> yeah, listen. I was, I was dating women. I was happy to wait 45 minutes for that, you know, naked anime picture to download onto my splash page. It was so hot. The tension kept rising with every new line of pixels that would appear. <laughs> <laughs> if you had the mouse clit and the boob mouse pad, you were Chad. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I, well, you know what? Actually, I do really want to see though. I want to start seeing gaming like PC, like the mechanical clicky keyboards, like I got. Mm -hmm. I want them to start coming out with <laughs> that little nub in the middle for the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> While you were making out with your big titty goth girlfriend, I was studying the RuneScape. Um, <laughs> by the way, guys, you jump into the waiting room because we're gonna pull some somebody in here in just a minute. We, uh, we might I'll only be, be able to do you. three people tonight. I don't know. We'll see. We'll I've see. I'm just. I'm finally waking up and I'm starting to actually be happy. Why don't, why don't we drag them in two at a time? Um, it usually gets a little too crazy when we do that. That's I true. Know. I don't know. I don't well, know. How many, how many of these people really want to talk to us? Mm, good point. Yeah. Good point. Mm. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's grab somebody though. Fuck it. Mm. And while we grab them, let's just throw up that news news, news item because I like oh, this. Yeah. I just yeah. Now we've talked about hamburger and taco phones, but what about space burgers? Mm. <laughs> That's right. Another uh, a YouTuber did one of them space burger things where he strapped what looks like a that looks like a. What's that shitty McDonald's burger that looks like that? Big Mac. Big Mac. That's, that's big right. Mac. Looks like a Big Mac. Strapped it, <laughs> strapped it to a board with a balloon. Sent it up into the air. Went high up in the air. Ended up landing like 100 miles away. <laughs> and it was a GoPro. Yeah, landed actually in the Colchester United Football Club's um, training ground. <laughs> We weren't sure quite what to think, but we were delighted to reunite with Tom with his meal and the rest of his equipment. We've seen some pretty unusual things happen in football over the years, but this is to be one of the most unusual. But it certainly helped spread the name of Colchester United, said someone. Don't eat. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> yep. N nope. No. That's a, no. That's a bad idea. Well, thing's been hit with cosmic rays and shit. That's what I mean. Yeah, no, don't yeah. fucking eat something that was in space unprotected. Holy shit. You know shit. what this, this is actually just like a viral <clears throat> marketing stunt for the, the reboot of the Andromeda strain. 
<laughs> Mr. Mr. Stanlan claimed he would eat the burger once it was safely returned to terra firma, wherever that might be. He was able to determine its location thanks to the tracker he'd installed in the box. After contacting the club whereabouts, Mr. Stanlan traveled down home Shefflin Retrieve. Uh, however, effects journey space taken toll on meal, and he said that not nice. I'm going to start reading all of these articles in Pigeon, by the way. <laughs> Just, I want to get that Chrome extension where it's a tr Pigeon translator. <laughs> yeah, this is this is like this is ugh, no, that's 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 literally a cosmic burger. It's that's a that's a rad burger. You wouldn't need space burger. I would not eat space burger. No, fuck I would. No. I would reheat space burger and eat it. Maybe. I mean, it would depend on how high it actually got up. If it got up high enough, like into the atmosphere, that it it was at risk of being a radioactive <laughs> fucking burger. No, I'm not gonna eat it. Somebody doesn't want superpowers. <laughs> well, think about it like this: like you don't go near. The, how high up did it say that it went? Hang on. Um, what the fuck like, is it? I think like two miles or something. About 24 uh, miles up. It had gone 24 <laughs> miles up. Into the sky where we pump all the... Oh, yeah. That shit's got... that. Honestly, that shit's got to taste like a GM plant at this point. Okay. So, <laughs> you know how, uh, <clears throat> for example, if you fly all the fucking time for business you are at risk of, of higher amounts of cancer because you are bombarded with more fucking radiation than most people are because you're higher up in the atmosphere. Planes do not fly 24 miles up. <laughs> Planes don't fly anywhere near 24 miles straight up. What the fuck? I just want to see Richard Branson ride by in a Tesla and just reach out and snatch that burger. <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm fucking, I'm, I swear to God, dude, it's so fucking crazy. There. I'm, I'm sorry, honestly. Like, I mean, here's the thing, though. You just quit smoking, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I'm, I'm sure between the two of us has been probably like um, a Dow chemicals worth of, of, of ingested chemicals. <laughs> if I manage to make a cheeseburger. <laughs> Which was cancerous to me already. Fly 24 miles up in the sky and it came back down. Honestly, I'd be like, well, I know myself well enough. I mean, let's point, try it. Just, lads. Like, wouldn't the gamma radiation just murder any and all cancer cells already there? Yeah, I mean, you would think so. You would think so. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this scientifically. All right. So, uh, a 737 has a max cruising altitude. God, this guy is such an idiot. He's fucking eating. I'm going to put the cancer burger picture up, right? Max altitude of 41,000 feet. That is 7.7 7 miles. This mother... That's it. That is high up in the atmosphere. And this, what is the deal with airline food? Yeah. This dude put his burger three times higher than a 737 can up into the fucking atmosphere. Like, literally into space where the balloon popped because it, it couldn't handle the fucking pressure anymore. Yeah, it's a fucking <laughs> rad burger. Don't eat the radiation burger. Well, kind of now we it. know that Elon Musk won't feed feed that to the dolphin at the bottom of the pool. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Why my dolphin broke? <laughs> at what Ugh. height? Let's see. Height is radiation... I gotta. I'll be honest. Like I was OSHA and ServSafe certified when it comes to making food, and we never ever covered this topic. I feel as though the American public is at far greater risk. Cause I don't know how many times those Domino's pizzas have been sent into orbit just so they could freeze dry them in a fancy way. Right. Well, how long before Amazon gets its own space station? <laughs> Jeff well, hold on, hold on. Depending on Jeff Bezos' divorce proceedings, it may end up being two space stations. This is the thing that nobody understands is when Amazon talks about drone delivery, they're not talking about the little quadricopter shit you can buy at, like, Walgreens. No, they're talking like... Okay. <laughs> They're talking, They're talking like military style drones oh, that just oh. can launch the missile with your package straight into your home. Oh, yeah, Obama drones just <laughs> flying over your house. All you hear is, Wah. what's that? Oh, is that my Garfield phone? <laughs> Bam! 
<laughs> my Garfield phone's here. Call the insurance adjuster. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm glad I have car insurance, but I'm not sure it has drone coverage yet. Well, the thing is, is that was sent. That was sent. That drone that was sent by Jeff Bezos. And according to insurance policy law, that is an act of God. Praise be his name. <laughs> praise Bezos' name. <laughs> he forgot praise our Lord and Savior, Bezos. People, but praise Bezos' name. <sighs> People are telling me that's not how radiation works. Yes, I am aware. I am aware that's not how radiation works. <sighs> Like, and if you're saying that you cannot actually have radiation carried back, but you're technically right, I know that. But I'm just trying to say, don't eat radiation huh. burgers. I love he's trying to say, don't, <laughs> don't eat, eat space fast food. No, yeah, he's just he's afraid of like the Andromeda strain. Because, like, really, let's be honest, we're talking to an audience of people who probably put gas station cheeseburgers into the microwave for lunch on a regular basis. How much more radiation do you think they're going to worry about, huh? Well, uh, at this point, I think Jeff's just scared about the three-titted midget from Total Recall. Oh. <laughs> Total Recall. I just, I, I love the that. fact I love eating the radiation fact. burgers will, will do that to you. You can never have enough titties. I'm not talking about the women you encounter. I'm talking about you specifically. You, the viewer, you can never have enough titties. <laughs> Uh, I gotta wonder though. It's like I just love the fact that like we like somebody in Oregon actually found a way to find a McDonald's Big Mac more disgusting than it is on on its own. I love the Big Mac. <laughs> well, the question I have is, would the grease just boil off, or do we actually need oxygen for that to happen? <laughs> to all beef patty, special sauce, alien DNA, mm. pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking E.T. Like, just showed like, up. I, I know I said it probably doesn't work anyway, but just just bear with me here. <laughs> Is it actually making it healthier by literally just zapping all the grease? I don't know. Uh... Elon Musk get on it. We, we need to know. <laughs> the fucking thing comes back down from the sky, and all of a sudden it's the hamburger phone. Like, bro, you sent a hamburger phone into space? No. What what the fuck? <laughs> How did that happen? <laughs> Someone oh God, get... Rods, we've got space Big Macs. Someone get Richard Branson on the line now. <laughs> get Jeff Bezos' wife who's gonna donate sixty eight billion dollars to charity. <laughs> yeah, no, Jeff Bezos' divorce proceedings will still be the highest in US history, even at its lowest point. <laughs> uh... <laughs> you know, Five billion dollars apparently is the lowest it can go, <laughs> and it is still the most expensive divorce in U.S. history. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> and apparently uh, it beats the highest out right now by two billion. If that's the case, Bezos is like running up to this YouTuber dude, bro. Like, do you think you can make me go into space like that? <laughs> well, Just... I'm pretty sure he. I'm pretty sure with his head, he'll turn into his own solar panel. Can I can I send my assets up there to freeze dry my bank bank accounts? <laughs> the ultimate tax haven, space. Yeah, yeah, I mean, shit. Try and get my money now, bitch. Uh, okay. Well, so, I mean, you can't get it either, jackass. Uh, yeah, well, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, mm, we, 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 we will. Um, so I, I I did actually do I did a little bit of number crunching. I know this isn't how fucking radiation <laughs> works, but dude, I'm trying to figure out how to get a Garfield phone on my hip. So fuck off. Um. It's a science night. <clears throat> yeah. Well, uh, welcome to welcome science night everyone. with a non-science person. How wonderful. Well, welcome, everyone, to Midweek Saints, episode 81, STEM Lords. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking STEM Lords. Even with, our, even, with our lay, even with our layman's version of the layman's science, we are still better than the average anti-vaxxer. True. Uh, but yeah, no, the radiation dose at a typical commercial air, airline flight altitude is about 0 0.03 millisieverts per hour. Uh, so even if they're going like three times as high, we'll just assume that it's times three. Even if it was times like ten, that's still it's nothing. It's totally yeah, fine. wouldn't it just be exponential? I have to actually kind I of I have to kind of insist at this point though, Jeff, because like you know you're trying to like bide your time while you don't smoke and you know 
And after all these calculations you've done, I need I need you to do a Thunderfoot style video. And the thing is, it's a burger sent up into the atmosphere. That's forty five times the rats you will find in a normal burger. In a uh, normal burger. Now, if the Brexit folks really want to eat hot dogs all day. <laughs> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Fuck yeah, it, that's... just call up Thunderfoot for this, for this question. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, no, we're titling this episode Stem Lords. <laughs> this is good. I was, I was going to say, title it Thunderfoot, please help. Oh, hang on. What's the uh, what's the Burger King? Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, Whopperfoot. No, there we go. Burger King King. <laughs> Burger King King. Burger King. <laughs> we was <laughs> Burger Kings and shit. <laughs> So what you're saying is radiated Big Macs or you're giving me uh, the, the power to access the, the life of the universe? Yes. So, uh, or, or some, some, yeah, yeah. My hotel brethren, please please enlighten me on the power or on the wonderful <laughs> wonderful details of melanated Big Macs, please. Scientists, scientists please respond. Yeah. This is academics, please respond. NASA, please respond. <laughs> It's like NASA with your 68 gigabytes a second internet. Please respond. <laughs> <laughs> I need another drink. Shit. Oh my god. Mm, I do. I, I personally love the concept though that like, uh, see, it, it's, I, actually, I was making fun of people in the NASA chat when I went to watch the spacewalk and said, "Wow, that's a really nice fisheye lens you got there. What makes the Earth look round? <laughs> Good job." <laughs> oh dude i was i was up in that bitch being like i'll be like how do i like how many hours will i have to work at applebee's before i can afford a swimming pool this big <laughs> just watching, half your life. Yeah, just watching that shit though like i did love though because i periodically chime in i'll be like do you guys realize like we're watching a lot you know a a, a live like a live show of us people walking around in space and it, we most of us find it really mundane, and we've gotten to such a point where not only are spacewalks and space stations mundane, but now ordinary ass like ordinary jackasses on YouTube can just send their fast food up above the atmosphere I just mean, for fun. Like, why not? I mean, so, knowing now what what's what prolonged expo or prolonged a uh, time periods and just zero g's in space does to your body i'm cool with being on earth so i i needed i need to like i just need to share this real fast um so this morning i was trying to like trace my 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 night last night because i was very confused about everything really didn't know uh what i had done um <clears throat> and i thought i i found a clue at one point but it just left me with more questions um, you see, I have these salsa bowls, and I love these salsa bowls, but I always fill them with, uh, with nuts, with honey roasted nuts, because it's a good, healthy, uh, treat when I'm feeling hangry, but I don't want to eat a bunch of shit, so I just eat some nuts. I apparently also, uh, deposited pizza <laughs> into my nuts in my salsa bowl. Not gonna I... lie, the, the con... The... If there was lack of context, this would sound real, real fucking dirty. I mean, when he's just, angry, he gargles nuts. It's my, it's my I'm just, pizza nuts. Well, I'm more pizza curious nuts. about the fact, like, why you think you can turn to the internet. <laughs> and why you can turn to live show audience and be like, Jeff, so, you do know which amongst, audience you are turning to, correct? Yeah, who amongst you knows how this happened? Addy? Whomst? Whomst? Let's just, no, we'll just, let's just <laughs> oh leave. my god. <laughs> Whomst? <laughs> Damn it, Jeff. Whomst? Whoops can explain my blackout. Whoops, who was there? Somebody. Larry Kubiak, spend fifty bucks and tell us how, please. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm just waiting for like Addy Monster. It's like, well, I can't speak about the pizza, but I can tell you all about the nuts. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the most transphobic moment of the show. Yay. Did Addy ever manage to send you her ludes or his ludes? I'll be honest. With her. And uh, Jeff, would yeah, say I, he's a gentleman. I yeah, I, I'm <laughs> I'm the kind of guy who doesn't kiss and tell, but I will put pizza in your nut bowl. 
in, in, in your salsa bowl. <laughs> well, the thing was, is like, like I looked it's at just, it and that's weird, dude. Well, the problem no, is, then they're cheesy nuts, and we don't want that. No, there's a problem. Is Jeff was really craving Taco Bell. Like I took a bite. You can see I took a bite from the pizza. Yeah. Then I was just like, yeah. exactly. He took a bite of the regular pizza, and then he realized he had a salsa bowl next to him. So he figured, maybe if I drop this shit in there, it'll make it into a Mexican pizza. Oops! That would be better. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, PBJ, any, anything you want to show, promote, put out there into the world, my man? Oh, my God. Dude, show, my dude. promote. No, I got nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, thank you for coming on, Breadmaster. Um, th- 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 thank you for dragging me in here without even a greeting. We're just like, oh, shit, I'm on. What? You, uh, <laughs> p- I-, I want you to pinch your nipples for my birthday. Yeah, Which one, the third or the fourth? Oh, <laughs> That's kind of hard. I've only got two hands, man. I've only got two hands and three feet, dude. Two hands, three feet, four Hoomst! testicles, one nipple. Hoomst what? is going to help him pinch his nipples. Hoomst! This this I don't know, you guys want to come up to fucking Wisconsin to pinch my nipples for me? This, yeah, no. this young lad was actually, I know for a fact, he was raised in the ghettos in Milwaukee where his mom could afford nothing but space burgers to feed him. So he grew several appendages and many nipples. No, Nick, I did not live in the, I did not live in the center of Milwaukee County here. <laughs> nah. you I, grew, there too. I grew up in the county next to it. <laughs> I grew up in the county. We had, deal with all the, we had to deal with all the fucking bleed over from Milwaukee. <laughs> We're, we're, we were the people who, like, were happy when the A.O. Smith factory shut down, because that mean they all had to stay where they were. I didn't grow I didn't go anywhere near Madison. <laughs> A.O. Smith's not in Madison. It's Milwaukee. Oh, I fucked up then. Yeah. How do I know your city better? <laughs> Never mind. Because Bye! you've been to that city more than I have. I don't, I don't fuck with that place that much. <laughs> Hello, Hawk. All right. All right. Um... <clears throat> <laughs> Enemy Moon says apparently Florida Man has a new challenger. Poland Man. Excellent. Poland. Um, yeah. Donnie says, sorry, I actually gotta head out for today. Have to go get a go to a study group in a bit, so not waiting room for me. I'll leave you with a nice chill song. Uh I still don't think my circle is going to work though. That's uh, unfortunate. Nope, still fucked. Adam Monster because... t- Oh bad. No, 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 I was just going to say that's a shame because, like, the next item we have up that we wanted to share with one of you, <laughs> the title is Man Performs Bizarre Sex Dance for Angry Pheasant While Wearing we can, Only G-String. We can still play it, but we can't hear anything. Oh, okay. Uh, Addy Monster says, to touch on what Nick said, if I were in the NASA live stream, I would have asked if I orbit the Earth in reverse rotation, the planet, and have sex with the lady vagina, do I get infinitely expanding time to use the morning after pill? Can I reverse <laughs> consumption? Inquiring okay. minds want to know. Well, okay. See, that's that's. <sighs> what yeah. if? Think about this. How terrible would it be if Superman was a bad person? Okay, not not just not just like oh okay well like so Superman's a bad guy he can pretty much just kill anybody by breathing on them if he wants to, not not that, but like. He can fly around the world in reverse time. Who knows how many people he has impregnated and then retroactively uh, aborted, aborted <laughs> uh, or committed sex crimes, um, but rewound time before he could get hashtag me too'd. Yeah. But, I mean, not only that, he could rewind the time that way, like he could undo the puncturing out of the back of the uterus. While he was just smashing his Kryptonian rod all up in that bitch. Right. We don't even many... know. He could be a fucking monster. What if... We wouldn't even know. We, all, we would all Wait, think he's a saint. Hang, hang on. Here's the thing. What if, what if every deja vu is just you're having been raped by Superman being erased from time? Fuck, dude. Fuck. This is why the DCU needs to die. Not because the movies are bad, but because like there's been enough like Superman rape going on for the last well, however long they've been trying to make those movies. And by the way, like if you got impregnated by Christopher Reeves, you better hope he forgets about it because mm-hmm. a lot of mm-hmm. a lot of social security disability benefits still to be wrought from that. Oh yeah, that's a, I forgot about that. He can erase your memory with a kiss. You can just breathe up your sniz to abort it and kiss you oh to make you forget. What the fuck? I forgot about fuck. that. 
That's right, Zack Snyder. Where's your Me Too moment, huh? I mean, <laughs> fuck, dude. Like, he could throw his fucking stretchy-ass chest icon and, and capture his fucking rape prey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I'm remember like, that. Dude. I, I don't remember anything else, but I remember that. That was fucking intense, man. That's fucking... This is... This I is... love... I love how in this show, happy birthday, Jeff, we, we were able to get together and figure out that apparently Superman is a serial rapist that puts Harvey Weinstein to shame. Yeah, dude. I, well, I mean, alleged. 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 Harvey Weinstein, yeah, alleged. Superman, it, there's no question. But I Harvey know, Weinstein, know, know, we still need to get through the trial, guys. You know, okay? the only thing Due about, process. We, don't know the, we don't know who the victims are yet. Whomst? Uh, yep. But we're, 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 digging, we're digging through it. Not only that, the other side, too, though, is you got to remember that due process doesn't apply to non-citizens, a.k.a. Superman never got his fucking green card, did he? I guess he wouldn't, well, would he? No, I don't think he ever did. That's weird. <laughs> okay, because, like, all right. <clears throat> well, okay, <sighs> let's, let's think about this critically. Um, Clark Kent uh, technically doesn't need a green card because Clark Kent... Uh, is listed as a citizen. Now, this is a lie, right? <laughs> because, obviously, he's an alien. He wasn't actually born in America. He was already born and then put on a ship. But... Now, now, now. now Jeff, one second here. We do have to think about the time in which Clark Kent was found by Ma and Pa Kent. And also, was it before or after we started actually using social security numbers? Oh, uh, that's a good point. That's a really good point. Because uh, let's see here. When is uh, what is Superman's birthday? Let's look that up. When did we start using social security numbers? Okay. Uh, all right. When, when was all when right. did Superman happen? Superman's first issue was April eighteenth, nineteen thirty eight. Now this means that Superman probably I'm gonna say was born nineteen nineteen or so. Okay, and we started using uh, social security numbers in 1936. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, so it, it looks as if, as if uh, it, he was he meant that he was ma managed to become the first proper illegal citizen to steal a uh, a social security number. Holy shit! What the That's fuck? That's why we need a space force. We need a space force yesterday. And a space wall. It, it, it's something to think we about there. We need a space you know? wall. It's going to be big. Biggest, biggest space wall ever. I mean, okay. Somewhere. All right. Yeah. All right. This is. I, I mean. Okay. I'm glad that you brought up the historical context because, like, I every time I talk about the illegal immigrate, which is often, I talk about the illegal immigration of Superman all the time. Everybody's like, DACA this and DACA that. And I'm like, will you just shut the fuck up? Like, come on. More important things to be talking about, like social security numbers and the historical connotation of him being a, 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 a line illegal and needs to get the fuck out. So. Yeah. Um, I guess legally speaking, we would then have to recognize that Superman is is two distinct, different identities, because uh, there's Clark Kent and then there's Superman. Superman yeah. doesn't have any citizenship at all, unless no. unless it was granted in one of those lame stories. Well, no, no, he does technically have citizenship. I believe it's uh, oh, Arctic God. Antarctic. It's wherever the Fortress of Solitude is. Uh, well, that see, that's the thing though. The Antarctic is not. Wait, is he the Fortress of Solitude is in the is in is in the North Pole though? It's in Nova Scotia. I think I think okay, where's the Fortress of Solitude? Where Jeff, while you're at that, it it's not super important, but it's important enough to raise. You do want to check your Twitter because Maeve tagged you in something which is um my, might help you quit smoking. I don't know. Fucking uh is located in the Arctic. But more recent comics have added in the Antarctic, the Andes, and the Amazon rainforest. It's, it's, it's the Arctic. Okay. Yeah. Now, okay. the problem... Got another wing that drinking bodily fluids the, again. The problem is that, despite what he may like you to believe, Superman is not Santa Claus. He is, in fact, Kevin Spacey. See, I already, I already know about this fucking... This blogger, but I'll... Oh. I'll yeah, she makes cookies. She's a vegan blogger who, uh... Yeah. Yeah, she, uh... 
There we go. She likes to eat semen. That's just, listen, that's just space mayonnaise. Hey. Okay, anyway. No, I, I like her so, more already. I, I, I believe there was a promise of a man It's for a pheasant and a G-string. Oh, yeah, yeah. dude. Okay, <laughs> you know what? You're right. Yeah, so, right. yeah, so the, yeah Eddie, was, Eddie was asking about that earlier so, while so I was run... expounding upon... Uh, well, um, well, well, Jeff gets the video set up. I'll just, I'll just go through the article. So we're not going to hear it. So a scantily clad Cornish man has gone viral <laughs> after his bizarre sex dance with a pheasant. Farrier Steve Phelps stepped in to help a client who was having problems with a territorial pheasant on his land armed with only a hat and a G-string. Half a G-string. Shit, only half. Uh, the pheasant um, had so aggressive that every time the men went out to check on his ride on lawnmower, the bird would attack him, clog him in the face with his sharp talons. Um, after the client asked Steve for help, he asked Facebook friends for suggestions on how to deal with the bird and was unceremoniously told to shoot it. Uh, instead, uh, Steve knows his onions in the field, and he also know, runs a pheasant shoot. So, yeah, he decided the best thing to do would actually be just get dressed up in half of a G-string. And uh, <clears throat> on uh, preparing for the dance in his outfit, Steve said, I was bent over with my tail wagon. I had sticks between my butt cheeks and acted as a, <laughs> which acted as tail feathers, and I was wagging my butt at him. Okay. Listen, this is the legacy of Steve Irwin, all right? I, I, I won't hear any shit talk here, okay? Yeah, I... <laughs> yeah, that's what, I, I don't know. Words fail me. Words fail me in this one. What? I, 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 yeah. I got so scared there for a minute. I'm like, oh, my God, is there now a ball sack on the fucking screen? No, that is that no, is uh, uh, that is a leg. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, have you ever, um, have you ever seen a leg like this? It's see through. Beaver boys. Beaver boys. Beaver boys. Oh my god! Make, I want make some your see through pants is kind of bothersome. I want some shrimp cocktail and white wine right now. I should do that for my birthday. That's what I should do for my birthday: is shrimp cocktail and white wine. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll be a beaver you can, boy. You can you can actually like, and, and not only that, but after enough white wine and shrimp, you can find out the exact combination of pizza, cashews, and salsa bowl that you got ingested last night. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, pizza nuts. That looks like a, oh, that looked like a pop tart. I'm sorry, with the whole blue thing, it just looked like oh, I put a pop tart in the bowl. <laughs> Call me Andy Warhol. <laughs> not, not Warhol. You are Andy Warhol. I should laminate it. Like that's just it's I don't know. It's I don't want to ever forget. <laughs> just, just take a couple of pictures and you should submit it as a modern art piece. Um have it bronzed. Um, you're in the perfect place. Yeah, oh yeah, there you go. Get it bronzed and submit it as a modern art piece to uh to some, uh, so somebody will pay you forty-five dollars for it. I mean, what would, would it be? The Eugene Museum of Modern Art, so you mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, you, you mama is. <laughs> you mama. You, you mama is is uh, it's 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 just the bastion of culture. You, your mama, your mama is your mama is the hottest spot for edgy, cutting edge art in Eugene, Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> you know the worst part, Jeff, is you're gonna be like sitting at dinner later, and that's just going to enter your head. You're gonna start chuckling, and be like, "No, baby, it's fine. It's about the Garfield phones." <laughs> <laughs> but I, I do have to point out that that explains so much of my childhood because there was a distinct portion of my life where I remember thinking there were Garfield phones, and then there stopped being Garfield phones. <laughs> And I didn't know until I found out they had all apparently sub sunk off the coast of France where they went. On their and way to Mussolini's granddaughter, yes. It, yes, yes, that ate her in her fight with Jim Carrey. That's um, why Jim Carrey's so pissed with her. He, 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 yeah. he can't call any of his friends to leave voicemails anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, but, third... uh, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, when Rice you brought that up, it was, it was just one of those moments where it's like, yeah. So apparently, uh, 
I, we were, I was on the voice chat when the seven verse like, yeah, so apparently uh, Mussolini's granddaughter and Jim Carrey are having a Twitter fight. To which my only response is, yeah, it sounds like something Jim Carrey would do. I mean, the man was batshit crazy about the time Man on the Moon came out. Yeah, so, he really did, didn't he? I mean, I, I will say this much. The man is an amazing artist, but he is also batshit insane. Yeah. But you repeat yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, well, fair enough. Fair yeah, enough. Well, well, no, that's sort of like finding out that, like, Basquiat actually invested in a retirement fund. It's like, no, <laughs> no. Shit, I got, into, I got into an argument with Quinn's mother today, and this is like, I'm like, because I mentioned, was like, Quinn was having an issue. And I'm like, just, she's like, I can't deal with it. I'm like, just give her something to do. What? Quinn, play your guitar, paint a picture through the speakerphone. She's like, wait, I can paint? I'm like, oh, look, now she's all calmed down. Just make sure she doesn't turn into Andy Warhol. She's like, I like Andy Warhol. And I was like, oh, I am sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, parenting. That's something well, I mean. I'm not really, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to feel about when me and Mecca finally have kids. Oh, Terrified, hopefully. Oh, absolutely. The the concept and the possibility of me raising another raising a child scares me to no end. As is just being in the same room with my nephew also terrifies me to no end. Damn it. That's a if you're anything like me though, what'll happen is that as your child grows and develops interests and gets more, you know, complicated as an individual, you start to realize that your absolute failure to make a real impact in the world will be uh, forgotten as your child becomes your legacy and lives out the life that you really, really wanted to yourself, but push them to anyway. It's just how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I spent the entire day trying to uh, working on my car, so you know, or were one of my cars. But uh, yeah, you know, and I was like, and I was thinking about it, like, this is my dad's birthday, and uh, I'm working on a car, and I'm fixed the thing myself. Then the check engine light comes on again, which leads to a whole other set of issues. But it's like, I think my dad won because he. Because when I was growing up, he was always like, yeah, you need to know how to work a car. You just need to know how to work on a car. And it's just like, here here I am. I'm like, yeah, no, Dad, I think you won this round. I mean. Yeah, but still, you didn't learn to actually take the dashboard apart to disconnect the little light bulb behind the check engine light so you can get the oh, car no, inspected, to did you? <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> we, we, here in Virginia, we do not have these laws. So uh, I don't have to worry about that. But, uh, but yeah. No, it's uh, I know actually how to do that. I actually have done that before. My friend, you could be the best mechanic in all of New Hampshire. Then <laughs> now, now here's okay. the thing. I would be do, the best do you know two forty mechanic in all of New Hampshire? Here's the other question. That I doubt that. Do you know how to make tire tread look like it's there when it's actually not? Mm. Um, I'm pretty sure I can make some pretty kick ass fake tire tread if you get me a tire that has a little bit. Of and a uh, and a uh, soldering iron. I'm pretty sure I can make something work. It's like it's like, hey man, listen, they failed my car on inspection, saying I didn't have any tread on my tire. Can you help me? <laughs> Say no more, fam. You bet I can. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it's it's like it's just a sharpie marker and a really good attitude can solve most problems. You'd be surprised. <laughs> well, well, yeah, no, to be fair, that's actually how they retread uh, uh, rig tires. When they actually, when the rig tires get thin, they take a basically a hot, uh, what is the equivalent of a super hot soldering iron, and then just basically carve uh, tread tread patterns into them. Don't ask how I know. I, okay, actually, I work way too long in tires for to, to understand how this stuff works. I mean. It, it, I, I just can't wait until I decide to pass an 18-wheeler again. I'm just kidding. I, I don't own a car. But I'm not allowed to anymore. These Garfield phones are really fucking expensive, and it's pissing me off. How much are they? What well, is the current gold price for a Garfield phone? Okay, I can only find them on, on eBay, honestly. This one, uh, the it's it's they're all most of them are auctions. This one's a bid of $30. <laughs> But it's also twenty dollars shipping, 
So you're like 50 bucks right there, and that's that's just to see how high it goes. Uh, new in the box, like they got one that is sealed in the box. That one's up to like three hundred twenty-six dollars. Honestly, Jeez. like at this point, yeah. it's enough to make you wish you were part of like you know the European Union common market. Yeah, and they're yeah. like, I know they got a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> buy it. The only one that I found that has buy it now is for a hundred bucks, and I'm not I'm not paying a hundred dollars. Yeah, you should just get a Snoopy phone. That way, you can tell the French to go fuck themselves. Yeah, yeah. No, it's. I I feel that we as a life, I'm gonna have to explain to my children that there was a time when novelty phones existed. And then they're gonna point at their own phone cases to the fact that yeah, I know Harry Potter or something. Yeah, I know. God, no, by that point in time, uh, freaking at that point in time, uh, J.K. Rowling declared that the entirety of the E both gay and every and cousins. So, uh, <laughs> oh, it's gonna, no, it's gonna be great though, because like explaining that kind of shit to your kids one day, it's like when we were kids, we had phones that were plugged into the wall. Duh, dad, all phones' batteries run out. No, they had to be plugged in all the time. Duh, dad, after a year and a half, every LG needs to be plugged in all the time. <clears throat> hey, sir, any, uh, anything that you want to show, promote, put out there in the world? Uh, well, um, well, yes, actually. Uh, go look up, if for those of you who are even remotely interested in something called uh, Space Station 13 or Battletech lore, uh, go look up the Black Pants Legion. Uh, it's a dude who just puts up videos of him playing Space Station 13, and they're actually pretty damn funny. The Black Pants Legion? Black Pants Legion on YouTube. Okay, cool. Yep. Let's see if we're fine. Oh yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm 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 watching the show on delay. And I just see the uh, Snoopy phones. And I'm like, ow. Oh. Uh, no, I want to see. I want to see Jeff roll around with one of those hanging from the belt. That's a little Actually, no, too big. No, no, no. Put it. No, put it in a backpack like you're a Vietnam era radio operator. <laughs> <laughs> you can't talk now. You can't talk now, honey. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny as fuck. Holy shit. All right. All hey, right. guys, this is Jeff Holiday calling you back. I'm not going to pick up next time, but I really hope you leave a message. And I don't know why I left an outbound message on your inbound in answering machine, so I'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ, oh, Jeff, that's how you do it from now on. Every time when someone calls, you call them, you go straight to their voicemail, and then you leave your message in what sounds like an outbound voicemail message. Hi, this is Jeff Holiday. I didn't feel like picking up the phone when you called me. I'm calling you back. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to do this, dude. Oh, my God. Just so people get the fucking hint, stop calling me. Just fucking text me. Stop calling me. I'm not going to answer. I don't want to talk to you. I'm sorry. But uh, Listen, hey, you've reached Jeff Holiday's phone. I can promise you I'm not going to answer, but I will call you back. <laughs> <laughs> leave, leave, leave a message with the point of what you want and I'll get back to you with something completely different mm -hmm. <laughs> alright well thank you very much sir always nice to talk to always. you we'll, we'll see you always again good soon buddy alright um... I, I love how we've come up with so much new phone etiquette simply because the French didn't know how to respond to Garfield I know and because I absolutely refuse uh, to answer my phone. Well, what happens when you're rocking that Garfield phone, though? Especially if you can, like, reprogram the ringtone. I so will it's be like... much more likely to answer the phone <laughs> if I have it, that fucking thing. It's just randomized clips from, like, the Garfield movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. John, where's the lasagna? Oh, shit, I'm getting a call. I'm sorry. <laughs> Milady! We got Milady Cleric in with us. Milady Cleric. Um. Yeah. No. I mean, I. It, it will. It will inspire me to <laughs> to actually answer the phone. <laughs> you know, especially because I'm gonna have to like keep this fucking thing charged, and like it's gonna be heavy. You know. You gotta get. What well, you gotta do those? You gotta get the cartoon voice down. That way, you can be like, John, did you get my lasagna? Hi, Jeff. Oh, hey, hey, hey. wait, hang on hang up <laughs> yeah yeah uh oh where is cleric 
at this point you need to also check and see if like whatever phone you have has a Garfield case for it. I wonder if there's a Heathcliff phone. <laughs> Heathcliff phone. It's like turns that out it's like six weird. bucks. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's not a phone. It's it's not a phone. I'm but... not a retarded. Oh fuck. Uh Heathcliff, no one should call Jeff when he's in his hood. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <clears throat> catching up real quick. Uh, do, 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 oh yeah, yeah. And it's just Larry, Larry the Hunter Bone. Since my circle's down, guess you're gonna have to take a shot of something disgusting. Then Jeff feels birthday man. Oh my god, fine. All right, all right. <laughs> this thing is almost done too. I'm almost out of all the gross booze that I have in this house. Which uh, well, at least find more. I guess I don't know. Oh, well, at least like later on tonight when you finally decide to eat salsa bowl pizza, which is gonna happen. Some... Oh, it's happening. Can you guys hear me now? Yay! Oh, yeah. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh, hang on, I gotta wash out this shot glass. This is gross. <laughs> My microphone was being stupid. <laughs> I love how I love how Jeff is still living in like 1984 in terms of that he thinks he needs to wash out a shot glass that he's gonna do a shot of vodka out of. <laughs> It's like, no, pour the vodka in. It will wash it. It, it will wash it. It will. <laughs> All of a sudden, like a whole bunch of like inexplicable I mean... pizza grease just joins the vodka. <laughs> <laughs> you could just wipe it out with your shirt, though. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't uh, have to get up to do that. <laughs> what? To wipe, wipe out the shot glass? Like, let, yeah. me, let me put it this way. I went to go wash it out real fast, and I put water in it, and I'm like, oh, that didn't do the trick. Oh, shit. And so I stuck my finger in there. And I was like, okay, I'm giving up on this shot glass. <laughs> it's just like a, it's like a chip of old milk comes out. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, I was bad. I haven't used a shot glass out here in a while. This is not that good either. Oh no. Like you just listen, dude. If you want to clean shot glasses, you just have to do what you do to like you know uh, random hookups in Portland. You know, just spit in their mouth. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah spit in your mouth and then rub it around with your finger a little bit. And oh all of a God. sudden, hey, my lady cleric, how's it going? Uh, um... <laughs> <sighs> um, so I sent <laughs> you, Jeff, a link on Twitter. Uh, uh, what? Uh, <laughs> I sent you an Etsy link on Twitter uh, for uh, oh, yeah? your Garfield phones. Oh, my God. Yeah? Okay, okay, okay. Like 50 are they, bucks. Are they homemade? I don't know. That'd be even better. They're, into it. They're retro, though. They're all like... Oh, wow. This one is <laughs> different <laughs> than the other one. I think it's actually cuter. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> fucking shit. Oh, so gross. that would actually be great because you could mount that like on a pa like in a modified papoose right on your chest. In a baby <laughs> carrier. In a fucking baby carrier. That's what a pap... <laughs> Poo I know. I'm just. He's not a papoose. Look at that, though. You actually get to speak into his dick hole. Awesome. Unslidden <laughs> <laughs> factor. Uh, Super Four Telecom Holland. Awesome. It's, a, it's like rather than shipping Odie to uh, Fiji, he used to like to just stuff Odie into a train. No, it's going. Abu Dhabi. Abu Dhabi. Kunststoff plastic. Yeah, it was Abu Dhabi and it was usually normal. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, normal went to uh normal went to Abu Dhabi. Yeah, and they could just actually stuff oh, Odie in the train car and send him oh, to Poland. You know what? I can't I can't I can't <laughs> he, he sent Odie lots of places, but I can't get um, this. This won't work for me. Why? Cause it ships from the Netherlands and everybody in the Netherlands thinks I'm a Nazi. <laughs> if you order it though. Then everyone will think Garfield is a Nazi too. Uh, oh yeah, huh? Garfield, <laughs> Herr Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I love it though. At this point, he just genuinely seems upset. He can't find a Heathcliff. <laughs> I am kind of. And they all make Odie phones. It's stupid. Well, that's, that's the thing. The French wanted all of the uh, <gasps> the Garfield phones, and the Belgians were just like, "Give me a Heathcliff." <gasps> Oh, oh, oh! This, this is this is how fuck this is how fucking weird we this is how fucking weird this day has gotten. Is like Jeff is getting like genuinely excited about landline phones. Ooh, ooh, dude, 
dude. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Fucking hell. This is a great idea. I love this idea. You're just gonna like. You're just gonna get like. You have to get like five of them though. That way, when you are drunk and you see like a football and you forget that it's a phone and you hurl it like a crossbow bolt in the <laughs> wall of your fucking garage. You just be like, oh wait, no, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Larry. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh no, come on. Uh, let's try. Oh, they don't have vintage banana phone. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> Nani? Wait, what? I'll be honest with you. What the fuck is... No, that's not an actual banana phone. I'm kind of retarded. Oh, my God. Like a broken one. I, I really like the idea of a banana phone. like just phone. diving as deep in as many old memes as you can find. Nah, dude. Like, I just... I want to have, like, something just absolutely ridiculous like this. So when I see somebody running around playing Pokemon Go, I'll be like... Oh my god, no, Jeff, you need to get that Virgin no Matrix slider phone. Uh, <laughs> this, this Nokia? Oh my god. Yeah. Just be like, listen, guys, I took the red pill a long time ago. I'm still talking on this thing, but it won't die. Oh, it's a Nokia. <laughs> Never mind. Shoe phone. Was, I, yeah, they did make shoe phones, didn't they? Yeah, shoe. <laughs> Just, just gonna end up like celebrating his, his 38th birthday with serious spinal problems because he decides to wear the thing. Yeah, dude, it was the Sports <laughs> Illustrated uh, vintage novelty shoe phone. And it's cheaper <laughs> than Garfield. Hello! <laughs> because it's not Garfield. Yeah. I mean, wear it as a hat if you really want to fucking like make a statement. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like I'm from the old school internet. I have a shoe on my head. Excuse me. I can get my mortgage refinanced. That's great. I don't have one, but I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, red lips phone. Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah. Well, those red lip phones are on Amazon. Wait, hang on. For Wait, cheap. no, no. Hang on. Instead of red lips phone, punch in kiss phone. Yeah. Uh. Vintage kiss phone. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Just him walking around with that on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. I want to leave voicemails all night. <laughs> Why is it so big? Because it's kiss, bro. <laughs> that's so weird it's also 150 bucks yeah that's I didn't bit. know Gene Simmons had that many alimony payments or Shit. buy it now for 200 um, <clears throat> yeah man wow this is, wow oh what oh my god oh no hang on we need to find out if there's a Battlestar Galactica Cylon phone ooh that'd be a good one that'd mm. be a really good one Darth yes. Vader phone. Oh man, what? Wait, wait, wait. hang on, go back. Cause did I just see a phone skin of an old school Star Trek communicator? Uh, no, that's just a prop. Oh. Uh, we could have Oscar. That's a phone. Is this phone? Yeah. Hmm. It does say phone. It's that phone. What it this did. thing? No, it doesn't say phone. But do they exist? Hmm. I don't know. Uh. But that would be that's too that's too that makes so much sense. It's a little on the nose if you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. I'd love to speak through Gene Simmons' crotch, but my God, I'm not falling <laughs> bones on it. Well, anyway, I gotta get I gotta start getting ready for my uh, for my my fucking my my shit. <laughs> the birthday dinner of uh, shrimp cocktail and white wine. Yes, and I need to eat my my pizza nuts. <laughs> Yeah. Well, take a bite. Take Did a you bite. find the rest of the pizza? I think I ate it. I don't know. I don't Maybe it's... you just didn't have a plate. You ate the rest <laughs> of it somewhere else, brought that with you, and decided you didn't want that piece. Mm hmm. I mean, it's 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 entirely. I'm guessing possible. that's what happened. I'll be with you. It's entirely possible. You know what? You know what drives me crazy. What drives me crazy? Um, 
is I actually have an old vintage phone. It's awesome. It's it's like salmon. It's salmon colored, right? <laughs> and the inside is all salmon. Um, but it's in a box, and it's a it's a plastic box that's molded to look like a wooden jewelry box, but it's plastic. And you open it, and then there's your salmon phone, and it, and it it's incredibly heavy, so you know it's old as fuck. But I can't find it. I don't know where I went. Uh-huh, you need so. to do is you need to just rock that shit around town. Like go down like college campus and be like, "Hey kids, did you know we've been using the hashtag since the early seventies? <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god! God! All right, anything you anything, sign, then. anything you want to <laughs> show? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, anything you want to show, promote, or put out there? Eh, not really. I don't. I don't do nothing. Okay. Watch YouTube Saints. Yeah. Oh I just came up with the sign language way to say, you know, hashtag me too. I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm okay. bilingual, guys, and not in that Shane Dawson way. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh uh, fuck. That's good. That's good. Uh. Huh. You always catch me when I'm taking a hit. God damn right. it. Well, we we love you and we'll talk to you again soon, my lady cleric, all right? I love you guys too. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Um, let's see. Enemy Moon. Hey Jeff, temporary replacement my circle, maybe? Well, we gotta go, but clear slide products screen share. I will Take a fucking look at this, though. That might work. I guess it says free trial, though. And I'm like, mm. see, Here's the we... worst thing is your fucking P.O. box is going to have so many goddamn Garfield phones in it look, over the next six months. I am going to be honest with you guys. Like, if anybody wants to fucking send me phones, like, you know my fucking P.O. box. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Send me all your old phones. I'll do something stupid with it. He's going to set up a Bernie Sanders call center next yeah. fall. It's like, well, uh, listen, I'm glad you came on the team. We need volunteers. You were assigned to the hot dog phone. Hot it's dog a great phone. great station. Fuck. <laughs> it's, it's like, yes, a man on his 37th birthday reflects upon the time in which he was a teenager when... Having his own phone was such a big thing that getting the one with the light up thing where you could see all the needless circuits was great, but now hot dog phone. Yeah, dude. Hey, you can actually even buy a hot dog cart <laughs> on eBay. That's amazing. <laughs> you are going down the funnest rabbit hole that you will have in your entire No hot dog dream. phone though. There's no hot dog phone. No hot dog phone, but apparently this hot dog cart comes with a phone. <laughs> and you can make hot dogs. Sign <laughs> me the fuck up. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can I can take that shit downtown, call my wife up, be like, baby, you have any idea how many hot dogs I've made today? She'd be like, Jeff, you have a video due. Yeah, but no. All right, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, one can <laughs> one can says happy birthday Jeff Nick be smarter on Twitter I love you Addy Crab ninety says maybe in the Garfield sequel Garfield and Odie will go back in time to Auschwitz and Garfield will have to take on the Nazis and save Odie from death camp officers you think they can get Bill Murray for that gig at this point probably do you think Garfield would try and save Odie I don't know that's a tough one. See, the thing is, it's like, Nermal's not a Jew, but Nermal is a gypsy. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so, Addy Monster says, new episode title, Phoning It In. What do you guys think? Should it be Stem Lords or Phoning It In? And then we're going to go, because I need to go to dinner. I kind of like the latter. You like Phoning It In? Yeah, because we've honestly spent more time talking about that than anything else. And, uh, and I mean, your P.O. box, I didn't mean your PO to. box would be really interesting Dude, over the next several months. I'm not but, fucking around. I want you guys to send me phones. Yeah, and if and if you're capable, if like if you're really talented with like soldering and building shit, like go ahead, f- go down to like the thrift shop, take that classic, you know, wall phone, and just like maybe get Dieter Lukum to 3D print like a giant dick phone or something, you know? Sir, sir is watching. I don't see uh, Streamlab from you, buddy. Huh? 
Uh-uh. I don't see a Streamlab. This uh, is like me trying to pay my taxes. Like, I swear to God, I sent the check in. No, <laughs> we don't see it. Well, this doesn't mean it didn't happen. Yeah, no, sorry, dude. I don't see it. But anyway, I gotta I gotta get going. Um but yeah. This has been uh it's been midweek saint. Oh, it was yeah, in the chat. Birthday oh. phone saint. <sighs> birthday phone saint. There you go. It's yeah. something. All right. Anyway, we'll see you guys on Friday. I'm going to have a hell of a good show, and hopefully I'll be a lot less <clears throat> squirrely. And uh, we'll have a good time. We love you. Uh, and if, if you haven't checked it out, too, go ahead and check out the promo. It's It won't give you any kind of nightmares, I promise. Yeah. Send me phones. Bye, guys.